Apple has announced Apple One at its Time Fly special event last Tuesday. It's a bundle of all their services into monthly or yearly subscriptions, and it comes in three tiers. And it will be released by the end of this year. But is it worth it? First, let's do a rundown of Apple services, starting out with Apple Music. Apple Music is their music streaming service. For $10 a month, you can stream all the music you want from a wide variety of artists, create playlists, explore new music, and expand your library. Apple TV Plus is Apple's video streaming service, featuring award-winning content from Apple Studios for $5 a month. Apple Arcade, Apple's gaming subscription service, has around 100 games, mostly children's games, that are all ad-free and have no in-app purchases, and it costs about $5 a month. Get iCloud Storage to back up your iPhone or iPad. Use iCloud Photo Library to sync your photos between all your devices and the cloud. And lastly, use iCloud Drive to sync files between your devices and the cloud. Pricing is based on how much storage you purchase. So $1 a month for 50 gigs, $30 a month for 200 gigs, and $10 a month for two terabytes. Fitness Plus, coming later this year, will deliver workout videos from a team of top workout trainers at Apple. For $10 a month, you can stream on your iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV, and with Apple Watch integration, you can see your rings on the screen as you complete your goals. There's also Apple Music integration for adding the trainer's curated playlist to your music library. And News Plus gives you ad-free access to full publications from over 300 newspapers and magazines, including Time Magazine, The Washington Post, National Geographic, LA Times, and more for $10 a month. Now that we have all of that out of the way, let's look at Apple One's tiers. Apple One Individual costs $15 a month, and it includes music, arcade, TV+, and 50 gigs of iCloud storage. Apple One Family costs $20 a month and includes the same services as the individual plan, with iCloud storage being increased to 200 gigs. You can also share the benefits with up to six people. Apple One Premiere costs $30 a month and includes all of Apple services like music, arcade, TV+, two terabytes of iCloud storage, News Plus, and Fitness Plus, with the ability to share all of these services with up to six people. I do have some complaints. Apple, why include TV Plus and Arcade into every bundle? Both of these services are hard sells. Starting with Apple TV Plus. The service may have award-winning content, but there isn't a lot. There's about enough content to spend $5 to subscribe for one month to stream the whole catalog. Or you can just buy a new Apple product and get it free for a year. Second, Apple Arcade. Get access to around 100 children's mobile games, games that you would expect to be free on the App Store, supported by ads or in-app purchases, not a monthly subscription. It would make way more sense if it included some console-level games. But like TV+, Plus, it lacks valuable content. All that being said, this opens up a huge missed opportunity. Imagine how nice it would be if they had better bundles. What about a News Plus and Music Bundle or Music and Fitness Plus Bundle? My hope is they eventually create some more useful bundles that more people find attractive. How about an a la carte option? Say, choose two of the following. You can choose Apple Music, News, Arcade, and TV Plus, Fitness Plus. Then keep the iCloud storage quotas and the prices the same. This would encourage more people to buy services than one of their services. Then. Leave the Premiere plan alone. I think it's a good deal. I think it's their only good deal. Apple One is a good idea. Apple has so many services that are great companions, but I think throwing in Arcade and TV Plus into every plan was not a good move, and that's why I don't recommend getting both the individual nor the family plans. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about Apple services and Apple One bundles, there's some links in the description below. If you're leaving with more questions than answers, leave those in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos, and check out the audio form of this video on our podcast. 
go to appleguideweb.com slash agpodcast. And while you're there, check out our website. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.